Well, the block NZ has wrapped for another year and the auctioneer's hammer has swung, fallen. Whatever it's done, it's definitely done it. We are joined now by Judge Jason Bonham, who's going to talk us through the highs and the lows of the series, as well as the auction results as well. Now, Amy and Stu were the very clear winners um, there in Gizzy, probably still celebrating, I would say. But it's great to have you with us, Jason. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you for making the time. You're welcome. The coffee's very good here, I have to say. Well, exactly. This is how we get people back to <laughs> exactly. coffee every time. Um, so, do you think we have deserving winners and Amy and Stuart, I mean they were the, the favourites the whole way through weren't they? Oh look I think I think it's fair to say that they did the best work. Um, we turned up every week. The finishing was always perfect. It was always beautifully done. It was well staged. It was well executed and really nicely coordinated from room to room to room. They had a really cohesive theme and they knew what they were doing from day one. They weren't fluffing around. They got the job done and I think that's pretty clear. And it's good that you're here because I really wanted to know the answer to this question because they initially had a different house, then they swapped to that corner house. If they had done all their design and styling and say house number three or house number one, do you think it would have been a different outcome for them? Oh, that's a very good question, but we're playing it. It's a competition, right? Right. So I think they totally made the right move by getting that property. It was the end one, the best light, park views, et cetera, et cetera. So they called it. And I mean, it's, it's one of those things. Would they have done the same work in the other house? Yeah, probably. Yeah. But they were still smart enough to get the best house. Yeah. yeah. That, that so whole, they called it. That cohesive thing too is really important because quite often you just go, oh, room, we'll do this, oh, this room. But that cohesive, that really makes a big difference, doesn't it? I think she went in there with a plan. She knew exactly what she was going to do with every room. And they were just a great team. They just worked really hard. I know they had a bit of a bad rap in the media. But in all honesty, I mean, they're good people. You know, they're good gizzy people. And, you know, they had my vote. You know, people say I'm really judge, um, really sort of biased. Judgy, well, you should be judgy. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm a little judgy, <laughs> but I am not. I was never biased. I just know good work when I see it, and that's what I've been paid to do. Oh, and I, I like the fact you never held back. You just said what you thought, and that was the way. I guess people learn, isn't it? I think people aren't stupid. I mean, you know, you're watching the TV and you say, well, actually, tell us how you really feel, because sometimes the TV and what you see, I mean, let's take the set, for example. <laughs> well, oh. um, <laughs> oh, that's, a that's another thing, so we'll come back to that. Uh, True. <laughs> it's one of those things. People, you know, the camera does hide a multitude of sins, so mm. sometimes what you see at a big screen doesn't necessarily translate, so we're looking at the fine detail nice. and that's where we come in yeah okay, absolutely no. well let's take a look at how the auction actually went shall we at 990 seeking a million dollars now come back starter at 990 is a call first call now second call now third and a final call all silent all welcome to the bidding now we've got better number four a million dollars thank you sir you ripper round it up now keep moving forward at ten thousand dollars on top of the mill sir first call now be quick, second call now, and just pause and think about what you're getting. We've got an abundance of sunshine, it's the premier position in a million and twenty we have for the third and final call. Wow, there you Ooh. go. That's a lot of money to win, isn't it? At the end of the day, didn't they walk away with like $169,000 and then they also won the People's them. Choice Award. They did. I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, the People's Choice Award, I mean, let's just leave it right there, right? People have voted with their buttons and that's what they did. And you know, as, as hard as it did with, the, with these sort of types of programs, every household, everyone yeah. was unique. Yeah. They were pretty well put together and they, I think they were some of the best homes on the block hey, this season. And that's a win and I tell you what, also the people that buy in them, they've got some good stuff in there too as well. Uh, we should talk about some of the other places and the other contestants. Ben and Tom came second. Everyone's talking about their kitchen. Yeah, they did a really good job in that kitchen, I have to say. I mean, I'm not a big fan of black kitchens, but the modernity and the way that they pulled it together was very nice. They started to coordinate and pull the things that they needed to do. It was a very displaced type of environment when you started going through the weeks, and it was the only thing that they really did that really mm. pulled the whole thing together. I and they didn't have kids, though, because black and kids just <laughs> marks on yeah, everything. Everything. <laughs> yeah, no, it was pretty, it was beautifully done, and they did some really nice lighting details as well. The finishes they kept quite simple and it was well put together so they did a good job with that. It was very dirty though I have to say. Right, so, so if you bought one of those houses would there be much you do to fix them? <laughs> well I'd start again. <laughs> OK, the other thing I wanted to know, Jason, do, do you know the dramas that are going on week to week? You know, does the production company and you have a little sit down and you go through what's going on or are you completely out of the loop on that? I'm kind of a little tight lipped on that. But to be fair, you know, we turn up every Saturday and you do hear snippets of what's gone on during the weeks. And so sometimes you're going, I mean, we go into these rooms completely fresh, so we haven't seen it. We are literally walking in, nice. the, clo the doors are closed, we're sneaking up the stairs and we're kind of going right 
action and we walk in wow. to this finished space. So those are our first reactions. Those are your actual... Those oh. are our first reactions. Brilliant. So that's a good thing. And you do hear a bit of the drama yeah, that I goes bet you on. Do. The ins and outs <laughs> you and do. the, the midnight do. taps and the God knows what. Would so, you do it again? Oh yeah, look, it's always good fun. Like this is my third season with the block and I've always enjoyed doing it. It's a lot of fun. And you know, I did it with Bernie for a couple of times and we had Christina this time. Yeah. And you just have to have a laugh, be honest and be yourself and just enjoy the process. There you go, and let's end it right there. Hey, thank you so much. You're welcome. Always a pleasure. Hopefully see you next year for it. Yeah, very good. And that is a wrap for the season of the Block NZ. You can check out any episodes that you might have missed on three now. And the great news is, as we all know, the Block NZ is going to return for season eight next year. The casting call is open, so you can jump online if you'd like to apply.